able to bring up my, my pen or my chalk and I can change the background of my, of my board and I'm able to annotate or write like a normal chalkboard. The age of blackboard and chalk may very soon be over. Interactive smart or e-boards combine the media versatility of a computer with the conventional whiteboard, making the learning environment fun, creative and interactive. The teacher is able to start annotating to the students. So for example, I go and pick up my pen, I say I want a, a yellow pen, and I ask them if I mix this color plus this color, um, what color would I get? Now I'm able to go, okay, let's go ahead and explore that. And I do that, then I get a different color. So it, it, it lets the teacher interact with the students without having to go back to, to, to the student. And whatever you do here, it's broadcasted to the students. So the students see exactly the same image that, that we have here. Smartboard solutions allow for cross-group collaboration between both educators and learners across geographical boundaries. And it can run video conferencing, access the internet and connect to students' tablet computers all simultaneously. While many smartboards consist of a projector on a surface, the Samsung solution simplifies this by consolidating all functions onto a touch-enabled monitor. We've got a touch overlay on a normal Samsung 65-inch screen. So the touch overlay is the one that lets us be able to do the, the touch interactivity with the, with the, with the PC. And uh, this has a 100,000 lamp hours on, on the screen. So in a normal classroom, we should be able to run this screen for more than five years without any, any failure. Currently, a similar system could set you back anything up to 60,000 Rand. But the intuitive technology allows teaching staff to increase concentration, maintain discipline and teach more flexibly in an enhanced and interactive environment. Well, we've come to the end of this week's edition of Tech at Work. If you want to get in touch with us, you can do so on Twitter at CNBC Africa, hashtag Tech at Work, or you can send an email to tech at abn360.com. Until next week, from me, Natasha Jacobs, and the Tech at Work team, it's goodbye and thank you for watching.